When a man idealizes a woman and projects his anima onto her, he gives her tremendous power. Why is it dangerous for women to identify with that projection? Or like Marilyn Monroe, to become the love goddess and live out his desires? Because, as we know from the life history of Marilyn Monroe, she, she did not live her own life. She, she acted all the time the anima of men. Uh, generally, there are women, and that is le ultimately due to the power drive. When women discover that if they are beautiful, they can exert a magic power over men, then they take to acting all the time the anima. We are even in our jargon sometimes talking about anima women. Those are women who uh, find out how to act the anima to men. And because but because this is not love, but pure power drive, it is destructive to the men and to themselves. Because it has, it's using the guise of love for, for worldly power. Such women want to rule the men, they want to, uh, the men to be all at their feet, and then they, they naturally are unhappy because they don't feel loved. Uh, I remember when I was young, uh, sometimes when a man projected the, his anima onto me and was pursuing me and giving me presents and so on, I had the distinct feeling, but that fellow doesn't know me at all. He's chasing an image. I wanted to look back. Who, he, who is he chasing? It's not me. Me as a human being, he doesn't see. And so if a woman falls into the trap of acting out the anima, she can exert a tremendous power over men. But at the same time, inwardly, she's frustrated because those men love her image, they don't love her. So she's really very lonely underneath. And that's what caught up with poor Marilyn Monroe. And does this woman who's playing the anima, does she just fulfill the man's needs? Anything he wants, she does? Or? How does it work? It works as long as it is a, an adventure or a love affair. Then she f fills out his needs. But when he has to live with her, in every, if he marries her and has to live with her in everyday life, then comes the trouble. A, she will play the animal to all the other men as well, and he'll not like that. And secondly, he'll suddenly discover that underneath that beautiful mask, there is no human being. There is no warmth. There is no possibility of a human relationship. So to marry an animal figure is most disappointing. And that these women who play that are called by the French femme fatale, women who ruin men. If a man has this mother complex, then how does he experience women in real life? If a man